What's going on guys? So I want to do another video today. Uh, since we didn't get the one yesterday we were trying to upload. Uh, this is going to be a casual deck, primarily just because I'm sick of playing in the leagues this week with the unlimited energy. I feel like everybody's just playing the big heavy hitter decks over and over and it's getting a little stale for me. So um, <clears throat> because of that, I want to go switch gears and do some casual. We haven't done that in a while and that was a uh, Used to be my bread and butter, so why not, you know? So showcase card of the video is going to be this newish card here, uh, Paper Fortune Teller. And it says that when drawn, if you are losing the round, your life on land cards in hand gain plus 20 until played. And if you're losing the round, your history cards in hand gain plus 15 until played, and that's when you play the card. And then if it's returned and you're losing the round, your remaining space cards in hand gain plus 20 until played. Uh, so not the greatest card overall. It'd be, it'd be better if these cards weren't um, in hand, if they were just wherever they were in your deck. But it's not, so the card's going to lose a little bit of its, uh, I guess, value because of that. <clears throat> but we're going to try it anyway. So because of this card, we're going to rock... Primarily life on land, history, and space cards, and see if we can make it work in a casual, just a fun deck, something a little bit different here. Um, so looking at it, I decided one of my history cards I wanted to do was Magna Carta, and because of this card, we added a lot more epic and rare cards, kind of leaning more on a budget type deck, but obviously, you know, we do have a few limited legendaries, so it's not really a budget deck, but... It's uh, only a couple of them, and Magna Carta is one that allows us to play a lot of epic and rare cards at a discount in casual. So that's why we went ahead and did that. So we'll jump down and look at some of these other cards. Some of the space cards I included in uh, Gomez's Hamburger. Since I played with it the other day, I wanted to, and didn't get to upload the video, I kind of wanted to show it again since it was kind of a neat card, especially when paired with Hamburger. Uh, when drawn your Hamburger... Wherever it is, cost minus two until played. And then when returned, if you won the turn, this card is minus three permanently. So can get down pretty cheap there. <clears throat> and discounts our hamburger, which is nice. So that card says when played, this card loses 20 power. And then your other cards in hand gain plus 35 on the turn. So nice little buff card there. Um, let's see. Some of our other, uh, we included uh, Tarantula and Nebula. So if your deck has five or more bug cards, this card gains plus 100 this turn. So we did a little bit of a bug theme again. I know I just did a bug deck recently, and it did showcase this Tarantula Nebula card. Um, we do have a little bit different bug setup. We don't have um, uh, the Western Honeybee combo in this deck, so that's one of the changes we we made to the bug deck there. We did, we did add in Scorpion Fly because it's casual, the Steel 4 Energy is pretty relevant so it's going to help us uh get some energy in a pinch when we need it we did add add mosquito i was looking for uh cards under four primarily because we added in cube sats so right here when played your cards wherever they are with four or less base energy gain plus 10 until played so you know, see i tried to add as many cards as i could in that four or less energy category so mosquito was one of them and he says, when played, your cards in hand gain plus 16 this turn. And if you're losing, gain an extra 16. So potentially 32 power there. Uh, Green Witch is a, just a nice, big, beefy card for three. So uh, I felt like we needed a little power in the deck. So I went ahead and tossed this in. And it does. Uh, it is a space card for our paper fortune teller, which is nice. Great card for casual, just because that three energy cost primarily. And it does combo with our cube sats as well. <clears throat> uh, some other cards we added, Wendigo. So we are getting a lot of uh, uh, cards that are getting discounted because of Magna Carta. Uh, we are stealing a lot of energy from our opponent. And um, yeah, uh, MLK is giving us a little more energy here and there. A lot of our cards getting, like I said, getting the discount. So because of that reason, I think Wendigo is kind of neat. So he's going to, every turn, one of our cards in hand is going to get a plus 30 power buff, but it is going to cost one extra energy. So um, that's the downside, but still pretty big buff for uh, 
30 power is pretty pretty strong. So we'll try it out, see what we think. We already talked about a little bit Martin Luther King we added mainly for the energy gain, the plus one permanently. And then it is going to give a nice little buff. And again, combos with our cube sats. <clears throat> Rat King, again, combos with that. And just a nice card. Really one of my favorite cards probably in the game. I really like this card a lot. Just the when you draw, just get that all your cards get that plus 13 permanent. And this card loses 13. So just a nice buffer for your hand. It's really nice. <clears throat> Uh, what else do we have? I wanted to try this card out. I hadn't played with it, so I just tossed it in. It looked kind of interesting. So if your opponent's deck contains two or more arts and culture, this card gains plus 20, and then we repeat for space and science. So potentially this card can get, you know, up to 100 power for only 5 energy. Probably going to get a discount from Magna Carta, so we could be playing this for 3 energy and for get 100 power out of it, which is pretty pretty relevant, right? So that's what we're looking to do with that card. Um, Asian Hornet, just looking to ding our opponent a little bit here on his energy since we are doing casual. And uh, again, it's uh, another bug, so helps out with our paper fortune teller, life on land uh, requirement. And then, obviously, Tarantula and Nebula, some of these other uh, bugs we added because of that card. And, again, that's a space card, which also is why we added it for a paper fortune teller. Uh, we have uh, Sabertooth Longhorn Beetle, a card I was pretty excited about when I played my bug deck. I thought it really kind of overperformed, so I went ahead and added it in this deck. It doesn't fit the CubeSats uh, under four, but I think it's good enough anyway to have it just for a heavy hitter. We have the Assassin Bug, again, trying to hurt our opponent's energy. And then Lava Cricket. Since we have a decent amount of bugs in here, I wanted to give it a shot, try it out in, a, in this casual deck um, because it is a nice cheap 3-drop, and it is going to buff all our bugs up, plus 10. And typically when you draw it, you're going to play it right away, so the burn's not going to be as uh, crucial against us. Oh, there's the other card I was thinking of it for the debuff, or... Uh, discounting our cards is the black widow so when we draw this our bugs basically are going to get a uh, minus one permanent discount so that's going to be nice if we have some bugs in our hand and that's the deck so let's go play tester out you guys can see uh, again just a little fun deck i wanted to try out and showcase this paper fortune teller we can see if it's any good since it's tough to tell just by reading it i i have a hunch it's not going to be very good just because it only targets the hand. But we will uh, test it out and see what you guys think. And you can decide for yourselves. As always, a good time to say, if you guys enjoy the content, please hit that like button. It helps the channel. Um, subscribe button down in the bottom right corner. And we are trying to continue growing this thing. And as always, leave a comment if you guys enjoy the content. All right, here we go. So we saw a lot of stuff just happen there, our Wendigo. Buffed up, uh, I believe, the cold reading. Magna Carta gave everything a nice discount. Opponents only playing two cards, so maybe we go for our MLK here. See if uh, we can get that uh, extra energy. And we do. So that's good for us. That's what we like to see. Opponent's going to get plus two with his ghost. <coughs> So you can see that cold reading, pretty good. Four energy right there. Put down 110 power. Not too bad. Paper fortune teller right now. Kind of a dead card already. So we don't want to play it, right? Because we're not losing the round. All right, so what's our play here? So Rat King got the buff, right? So maybe we get Rat King back with Magna. Yeah, let's do it like that. Start getting more discounts. Get our Magna Carta back going. All right, Wendigo. And he hits the Beetle. And our Gomez just made that hamburger cost nothing, so... Looking good for us right now. We're going to definitely get these cards down like this. And I think that's going to be enough to win this round. I 
All right, round one in the books. Deck doing what it needs to do. Obviously, aside from Fortune Teller, that was kind of uh, underwhelming right there when we drew it. All right, Lava Cricket. Going to get that nice buff. And you can see it hasn't burned itself yet. That's going to be at the end of the round. So really, we could play it now and not really get affected by that burn. Opponent's up to quite a bit of energy. So I'm debating if it's worth playing Asian Hornet here. Probably. Start hitting his energy a little bit. There we go. Knocked him down a peg. All right, you see Paper, paper Fortune Teller got the buff off of our Wendigo. Assassin Bug looking nice here, too. I think he got a discount from that Black Widow Pulsar there. I think I'm just going to get Paper Fortune Teller out of my hand at this point. So let's do it like this. Sucks. We, I mean, I just keep... We haven't been losing the round yet, so I hate to just keep holding on to the card for no reason. Um, I think it's fine. We'll get it back later game if we go late. Go ahead and do it like this. 74. That should do it, right? Hundred and He needs 194. Yeah, it's going to be enough. He is going to have a nice start now on the next round with that red diamond. It's going to give him a plus 100. So we do have to try to overcome that. <clears throat> Here's our green witch. And we drew our cold reading back. We just do it like this. It's pretty pretty good power there. And that caught us right back up. That 100 he got didn't do enough. All right, we saw our cold reading got a buff. Uh, Rat King triggers, gives everything plus 13, looking good. Okay. Yeah, this is looking like game. I don't think he's going to be able to come back from this. At least from what we've seen. I just don't I don't see him making up 200 points plus whatever I play here. I, don't, I just don't see it happening. Maybe, though. going to be our max there. And that's going to be game. So we uh, decimated our opponent. We didn't really get to see Paper Fortune Teller at its best. So we will try one more game to showcase that card. And hopefully we can see a little bit more action with it. Oh, let's get a sip of water. A little cold front rolling in right now down here in Florida where I'm at. <clears throat> Getting a little nippy out here. All right, what do we got? We got our discount from Black Widow. Again, we've got Paper Fortune Teller right here. Not really doing a whole lot. I would like to get behind, so maybe I just play one card here and see if he can get, take the lead, and then we can play 
fortune teller and see if that um, helps us out. We can at least try to showcase it a little bit here. So we kind of want to lose this turn again, right? So that our space, but it's only one card in our hand going to get a buff. Hmm. I think I'm going to play two cards. And yeah, we ended up winning that. Unfortunately, I was, I just don't want to get too far behind. We did get to see a, our space card get buffed at least. <clears throat> I still think that card should say the wherever in your deck, not just in your hand. Makes it a little underwhelming. So we are behind. Mosquitoes look looking good. I think I'm gonna go like this. So that should be enough. Win by about 50, 40. Can't do math today. <laughs> All right, there's our cricket. Gonna get a nice buff there. Let's toss him back. What else? What else? I'm going to do the Hornet. Start dinging his energy a little bit. Ooh, all zeros on those, huh? What gave that a discount? Is that his wormhole right there? Is he playing one space card? What is that card? <laughs> Cube sats down. Start getting the buff. <clears throat> Green witch, nice card. So we are behind, so I think we just, uh, just get Rat King back in our deck. Alright, we're going to get three stolen from us there. <clears throat> Hurts a little bit. There we go, Magna Carta should help us out. Do it like that. Opponent looking good. Nice little octopus deck there. All right, we're losing. Where's our paper fortune when we need it? Oh, there it is. Get our buff. Nice. A little 20 there. Guess that's all it's good for. About 20. And it's all losing the round, right? So we should still be losing the round after this. So I think we're good. Get 
There we go, we got a little bit of buffs out of it. Still feels underwhelming though. All right, here's our best chance to try to win, I think. Ooh, he's playing three cards too, so probably not gonna happen. Well, maybe, it's gonna be close. Oh, we did get it. Plus four. I'll take that. Didn't think we'd have, have that one in the bag. All right, Scorpion Fly getting the buff, so we're playing it. <clears throat> Some good power there, 272, not too bad. Opponent gonna steal more energy from us and power. Here's our cricket. I'm kind of liking this cricket, actually. He's uh, kind of kind of feels a little underrated. It's always zero cost, and we're getting a fifty power off of him. And then, like, how many bugs are getting buffed? Quite a few. And that's only just a plain old regular epic. Wow. A card seems decent. Another good turn from our opponent there. Up 300. All right, so close match, close match. See if we can win it on this last turn here. We did hit our opponent's energy a little bit, so he's not going to be able to play as many cards, I hope. He's only got 10. <clears throat> Drew our green witch. Got Mosquito as well, which is nice, since we're behind. Do we just play our max here? That might be enough, especially if he's only playing one card. Don't know why he'd only play one. It's a big one, but that's going to do it. <clears throat> so overall, I mean, deck performed as a whole pretty decently, but I will say I think the fortune teller was a little bit uh, underwhelming. So I don't know if what you guys thought by watching the video, but me personally, I would not look to um, build a deck around it unless it gets uh, reworked a little bit. I think uh, I think it could be a good good fun card if it would have targeted my whole deck, not just. Um, those you know two cards in my hand that just i have to have specifically at specific times and like I, when i play it and then when it's returned i have to have a specific type of card that's just that's just tough to make happen so um yeah that would that'd be my advice is i would stay away from that card and uh hopefully you got a little bit out of this video i think it was a neat deck again just a little casual fun brew i wanted to throw another one out there for you guys since we kind of dropped the ball yesterday not being able to get our video out, but it happens. So, uh, again, hopefully you guys like the content. Please hit that subscribe button bottom right corner and drop me a comment if you have a deck you'd like to see. But, all right, guys. Thanks for watching.